welcome to the beautiful world of aquascaping. This week, we're doing something that we didn't finish last week. I'm going to scape this 45 by 45 by 30 tank here in the backyard of Green Aqua. building the 45 by 45 by 30 liter tank, which is right here in my hands. Very heavy. You're gonna push me down. And I'm gonna place it on a mat. Guys, never forget to put a mat below your tank. I'm going to scape this. As I told you last week, we're honoring the Indonesian aquascapers and the first place at the IAPLC, the international. The guys are filling up the tank. Well, we're in the green aqua gallery and uh, Tony, our maintenance expert, is obviously working on the tank. So the sound that you just heard is him not in the toilet. <laughs> It's not easy to do an Indonesian style aquascape with many details, with rocks, and that's Adam. He's also helping me in today's video. You will see everybody crossing in the background. Don't worry about that. We're gonna add some new rocks that I took out and I had no idea where those rocks are. We're gonna put something in the background like that. And I've got the uh, Chihiro's Vivid Mini RGB2 light, which is assembled in the wrong way because this whole top should be at the bottom. Nothing happens if you do it like this. Tommy told me that I shouldn't do it. He was laughing actually at me. Tommy was wrong. Guess what? He was like, <laughs> Bolash, you did it the other way around, which is not, not true. Oh. Oh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> Tommy was right. <laughs> I'm just looking for the hole. Aren't we all? <laughs> bad joke jar. This is a bad joke jar situation, guys. The good thing about these lights is that if you have a Chihiro app, uh -huh, you got it. Push in on your thing and there's light. So the question is whether I want to raise this a little bit more. Okay, so sand goes in. What kind of sand do I want to use? So the ADA La Plata sand, you know the color and the general sand. You don't need to rinse that before use. You should actually rinse the uh, general sands if you have any. I'm not sure if you want to continue with that, so I might want to use the uh, soil, the ADA soil there, and then just have a narrow path going on. I'm going to apply the Power Sand Advanced M. I've got some remains and I'm adding it everywhere where it's then going to be. Probably going to add it in the middle as well. ADA Aqua Soil Amazonia version 2 that goes on top of the soil and this is an ADA substrate system. We quite like that substrate system from ADA because it provides a lot of home to billions of bacteria and it helps with the filtration. We're gonna have a filter smart, who has a filter smart 300 underneath. This aquarium is around 60 liters, so it's quite convenient to use. See how the structure started to disappear. As I'm using more and more soil, the size of the rocks started to be, to appear to be smaller and smaller. In this way, I will be needing to add a lot more rocks after I did this process. 
We are going to have two types of plants in this aquarium. One of them is the uh, Eleocaris, the small hair grass, and the other one is the uh, Ricardia moss. The first terrace here is ready and the back needs a lot more soil. We need to stop the soil from rolling forward on that side. And I'm going to use the fine filter mesh to just tear out a little bit of it and put it in between the glass and the rock. Okay, so now we have three layers. The first layer is in the middle, this path that will be partially filled up with sand. The second layer is right here, you can see, and then the third layer is in the back. Meanwhile, the perspective would lead us towards this point here, so we ideally would want to close this with rocks. Another terrace will go here to add even more detail to the back. I didn't want to fill up this scape with a lot of rocks as most Indonesian aquascapers would do. Because if I do that, then I have no place for planting and I still want it to keep the nice planted tank feeling here. So the problem is that I have no detail in here. This would be just one little line of Eleocaris. See, I'm just adding rock here and it already breaks it up. So right now, that line is closed, so I will be able to put some soil behind it. And that's supposed to keep everything in place. See, now I have another terrace here. The sand path will lead in the middle and it's going to cover partially the soil, which I don't care really about. So let's add some more wood to the back to accentuate the forest. Right, and then we need a couple of more branches to the back, which are really narrow, small branches, so that it gives a lot of perspective to this whole thing. Oh, you're planting now. Yeah. It looks like I'm planting. <laughs> exactly. What is this? There's enough wood in here. The forest is ready. Actually, if you have a magnet, a strong magnet, you could use that to get out the soil particles from the tank. I will start to throw in the small pebbles. Just make sure to separate the path from the rocks with them. Just testing. <laughs> I even take out from the biorb. I'm really sorry, but I have to test it. Okay, so we need ADA river sand. And you take grandma's cup for vodka. Just to recap, it took about five hours in the first video to complete the hardscape, the main parts of the hardscape, the foreground. It took about two more hours to complete the hardscape in the back and to add these little branches to the back and uh, to put in the soil. 
So right now, what remains to be done is to wet the soil with a sprayer in order to be able to plant more easily and to introduce the plants that have been prepared by Adam. I've got uh, 10 pots of uh, Eleocaris Acicularis mini and I've got 10 pots of Ricardia moss, which is really cool moss and uh, I'm going to use that on the wood here and there. Maybe not on the rocks, we will see what we're going to do. And I think that 10 pots of that Ricardia moss will not be enough, so I asked for 10 more. So 20, a total of 20 pots. Chubby is already laughing behind the camera. You know me, I never stop. So 20 pots of that and 10 pots of this should be enough or not. I'm planting heavily from day one and I always tell you guys that I'm doing this for the video purposes because I want this to look good in about two weeks or three weeks maximum when we will introduce the fish and release the video. Show me your soul. Baby, I'll show you mine. Show me your soul. Honey, it's way past time. How expensive do I have to be? Need I spell it out before you get it, baby? Show me your soul. And honey, I'll show you. So I'm ready with planting 17 pots of uh, Acicularis mini and I'm thinking how to use the uh, little and beautiful Ricardia moss. I think I'm going to use it at the top of the wood. Alright, so after eight hours of hardscape, gluing, planting, and thinking about what the hell I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm done with everything. I'm pretty tired. All that remains to be done is to fill it up with water and to start the technology. And we have an Oasa Filter Smart 300 here with a 16 by 22 hose, hose restrictor and the small hoses. And that will go into the cabinet below the tank and the hoses will come up here and it's going to be filled up with the Neo Media, the pure one, which does not change the pH of the water. Actually, the other one, the soft one, will soften the water just like Amazonia would. And uh, that's okay if you want to have soft water in your tank. Two are enough to fit into this uh, filter smart filter, and that's gonna give home to billions of bacteria that will help us uh, with the tank. We're gonna do the regular daily water changes in the first week, probably gonna continue doing the water changes, those daily water changes for the second week as well because of this uh, wood, which can leach some red stuff and can get the water cloudy. So I hope that you guys liked this video. If you did, please do not forget to hit that like button. That will bring the video to a wider audience. This is the way that you can support the channel. And also you can support the channel and the video production by becoming a channel member. And if you want to get notified by the future uploads of Green Aqua, you can hit that bell button because that's very important to do. Obviously, if you don't do that, you're not gonna see that we come up with a new video. So if you're interested in this hobby, then you're gonna be quite happy to see some new quality contents from us. We'll see you next week. Bye.